So guys, for those struggling with Godric, the grafted boss, uh, the second, I believe, of two must-do boss fights, today I bring you a great cheese in which you can achieve and do so easily, and it makes this boss fight a walk in the park. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out, and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So Godric the Grafted is a pretty solid boss, but today I will bring you a method in which you can do and use to basically cheese this dude and it's just so easy, it's ridiculous. Now it only requires minimal skill, but a couple of things are needed, but other than that it's straightforward. Now before we go any further, credit to my pal Mild Life Crisis who figured this out and gave me the idea for this video. His channel can be found linked below, so do check him out and show him some love. So what you need to do is you need to get the Rotten Stray Ashes, which is basically a spirit you summon, which has the ability to poison enemies. So you want to grab this if you haven't already, the location you can see on screen now. It's located right near the Shelia Understair, uh, within the Swamp of Aeonia, I believe that's pronounced. So follow where I go on screen now and grab this thing. So once you have this, you do want to level it up slightly. Now you can do this without leveling it up, but it's kind of difficult and you will need luck on your side. Now to level this up, you need to head to the table of Lost Grace, bottom left of your map. Here, make sure you have spoke with every NPC and cleared out all dialogue that they may have within their pop-up menus, which would be located above Leave. Then come to Aruka, the Spirit Tuner, and now level these up. Now to level these up, you need items called the Grave Glove Walk. Now there are certain versions of these, seen by the number next to them, and certain versions are needed to upgrade additional levels to these spirits. Now you probably have some of these Grave Glove Walks already. If not, do a quick search on YouTube guys, and thousands of videos are there for you to pick from, so they're real easy to get. Now once you have what you need here, you will also need runes, but not too many. So level the Rotten Stray Ashes up to, I'd say, at least a level 3. You can go higher to make this even easier on yourself, but 3 is fine and work great for me. Now again, you could get away with a standard Rotten Stray Ashes summon, but you'd need luck on your side for sure. So once you are done here guys, head to Godric the Grafted, obviously located right next to the secluded Sal Grace, within Stormville Castle. Now enter this fight and summon the Rotten Stray Spirit. Here guys what you need to do is get the boss's attention while your summon attacks are long enough to cause poison. I tried using a poison grease as well but that really isn't needed whatsoever. So draw his attention by landing a few shots so he follows you. Now it doesn't take much but what you are looking for is that poison to have taken effect from your summoning spirit. You will know it has via his health just depleting due to tick damage caused by the poison. Now I have had it at about a 1 8 for a 1 6, but it can more or less happen at any time. So you yeah, grab his attention while your summon attacks, because if your summon dies too soon, it won't cause the poison effect we need. So once it has caused that poison effect, and you can see his health slowly ticking down due to that poison tick damage, from here guys it's simple, just avoid him. You can run from one corner to the other, and his health never stops draining, even with that spirit summon being killed already his health will just keep draining. So just stay away from him, and it's super easy because he's slow. Just don't try and be cocky like I did towards the end and play hide and seek. Just run away and eventually guys, he will die. And it really is that simple. Why this poison doesn't lose its effect on him, I have no idea, but it doesn't. So yeah, like I said guys, I recommend your Rotten Stray Spirit up to a level three. Once it's there, it will be perfect. Just remember, keep this boss's attention while your Rotten Stray Spirit attacks him to cause that poison damage. Once it's had its effect, you are good to go, guys. And there we have it. That is how you cheese Godric the Grafted. And I hope the video helps you out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.